The question has arisen that asks, why promote the original books of Ellen White? Why is it so important? Why not just use the ones the Seventh-day Adventist leaders are promoting? Well, Sister White said this after she saw how the Seventh-day Adventist leaders were openly subverting and editing her writings in her day. She said, I write this because any moment my life may be ended. Unless there is a breaking away from the influence that Satan has prepared and a reviving of the testimonies that God has given, souls will perish in their delusion. They will accept fallacy after fallacy and will thus keep up a disunion that will always exist until those who have been deceived take their stand on the right platform. All this higher education that is being planned will be extinguished, for it is spurious. The more simple the education of our workers, the less connection they have with the men whom God is not leading, the more will be accomplished. Work will be done in the simplicity of true godliness, and the old times will be back when, under the Holy Spirit's guidance, thousands were converted in a day. When the truth in its simplicity is lived in every place, then God will work through his angels as he worked on the day of Pentecost, and hearts will be changed so decidedly that there will be a manifestation of the influence of genuine truth as is represented in the descent of the Holy Spirit. She also said that books of a new order would be written, a system of intellectual philosophy would be introduced. And so it was. And now as many with eyes that see have witnessed firsthand, God's remnant people have been called to go forth for many years now with the same primitive godliness that Sister White says is going to be needed to be able to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Well, that being said, and as you all know, I have made quite a few videos on this topic and could make hundreds more because we now have that much evidence that the SDA leaders have not only destroyed the teaching institutions of the precious Seventh-day Adventist people seeking a work for the Lord, they have also fulfilled that which Sister White said when she said books of a new order would be written. And now that we are very clearly near the end, who is it that does the final work of reviving the testimonies that our God has given that will be used of the Lord along with the precious word of God to bring many souls out of apostasy and into the arms of the Lord? She said this in Spirit of Prophecy, volume 1, page 11. The testimony of Jesus, said the angel to John, is the spirit of prophecy. Of course, that's Revelation 19.10. She goes on to say that it is the keeping of the commandments of God and the recognition of the revival of the spirit of prophecy by the remnant of the church or the Christians of the last generation. That stirs up the ire of the dragon because we all know what Revelation 12.17 says. The dragon was angry with the woman, yeah, because of what went down in the ninth hour but he is making war with the remnant of the church, the remnant of her seed. That is why we in the Seventh-day remnant church that have gone forth with this truth have been so hated by those who have not the eyes to see. But praise the Lord, there are still very many precious souls still seeking the Lord Jesus himself in the apostate SDA church. It is for these dear souls we will continue to go forth with the simple message of truth that is found unaltered in the King James Bibles, of which most Seventh-day Adventist churches no longer use, while at the same time we will continue to promote the original writings of Ellen White that are available at vbates.com. In so doing, those who have a heart for truth will understand what was penned way back in 1884. Check this out. It says the publications distributed by missionary workers have exerted their influence. Yet many whose minds have been impressed have been prevented from fully comprehending the truth or from yielding obedience. Now the rays of light penetrate everywhere. The truth is seen in its clearness. And the honest children of God severed the bands which have held them. Family connections, church relations are powerless to stay them now. Truth is more precious than all besides. Notwithstanding the agencies combined against the truth, a large number take their stand upon the Lord's side. You know what that means, don't you? 
have you noticed how Rome has been doing all they can to remove free speech the last few years, decades, in fact? They know the loud cry is coming, and they think shutting the mouths of the people, God's obedient people, will prevent their agenda from being made known. But the books have already been written. That's right, the loud cry will, for the most part, be due to that which is declared in the original writings that uplift the original Bible, the King James Bible. See, this is why the Roman SDA church is doing all they can to change the spirit of prophecy books in the same way Rome is trying to change the Bibles. They know truth like this will empty the pews in the apostate churches, and that is why Sunday laws will come. When the people hear the truth, the real truth, they will leave the fallen churches, and the 501c3 preachers of filthy lucre have no choice but to join hands with the government to lobby and then pass Sunday laws to try to shut us up. And so, if you are one that wants to take part in this final work, before you can be blessed with your Father's calling to do so, you must first obey Him and come out of the fallen church long before those plagues begin. Thank you for watching. God bless.